In this video, we're going to extract day, month, or year from a date value. With day and month, we can extract a number or a name. With year, obviously just a number. Let's kick off with month. We've got four different methods here. First method I'm going to use is custom formatting. And to use this method, you'd create a link between your original date and an adjacent cell. And then if I copy this down, then what I want to do is apply custom formatting to these dates. Two ways you can do this, right click, format cells, or control one. Now go down to custom here, in the type box, delete what's currently there, and then to extract the month portion of the date, type three M's, which would give you an abbreviated name of the month, or four M's to give you the full name of the month. Okay, next method using the text function, two arguments value, so that's our date, comma, format text. So this is gonna return a text value using a number format. Now our number format is the same as the custom number formatting that we used. So I'm gonna use four M's, close the bracket, press enter, copy down, gives me the names of the months. Now, there is a difference between these two methods. If I was to sort in descending order in the custom formatting column, see I get oldest to newest and newest to oldest. So I'll say newest to oldest, and I'll get October at the top down to January. If I do it here, right click, sort, I don't get newest to oldest and oldest to newest. I get A to Z and Z to A. So these values are text values, so they don't sort properly. Next method, month. So all you do is point at your date and it returns the month number. Now I could use this month number to return the month name. And I'm going to do that using the index function. But first of all, I would need a list of month names. So if I type January there and fill down, then here I'd use the index function. In the array argument, I'd select my month names and I'd want to fix that. So I'm pressing F4 on my keyboard, comma. Row number is returned by the month function. If I copy that down, that gives me the month names. Now these are text values. You can see that they are on the left of the cell. So if I did try and sort them, they would sort alphabetically rather than in month order. Okay, let's move on to returning the day portion of a date. We'll start off with custom formatting. So again, using this method, I would link this column to the date column. Copy that down. Control one for custom formatting. Go to custom in the type box, type three Ds for an abbreviated day of the week, four Ds for the full day of the week. Click on okay. Text function, you can also use to extract the day part of a date. So my value is my date and the format is the same format that we used in custom number formatting, four Ds. And these are returned as text values. Day function. Now this will return the day portion of a date, not the day of the week, but the day portion of the date. Next option is weekday. So this is going to return one for Monday, two for Tuesday, three for Wednesday, etc. So I can choose weekday there. Serial number is our date turn type. So if I want Monday to be one, Tuesday to be two, then I need to choose 11 there. And then lastly, I could use the index function to return the weekday name using the weekday function result. But just like with months, I'd need a list of weekday names. And I could say equals index is our array, which I need to 
fix the reference to, comma, weekday, pointing at our date using 11 as our return type. And that would return the weekday name. Finally, returning year. So we can use custom formatting, link this column to this column. Control one, custom formatting, custom, type box, type in three Y's, get the year portion of the date. Text function, you can also use using the same custom number formatting. Three Y's, and there's also the year function. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.